Hi, welcome to another ePlan Tips and Tricks. So today I'm just going to cover through um, backing up projects. Um, you all might know that ePlan is a database system. The project is a full database set, which means it runs quickly when you start to page down. And you can see all the pages are open on a permanent basis. All you're doing is just resetting the data inside the actual database. When you need to back something up, what you're physically doing is taking all the files and folders that make up an ePlan project and zipping them into a singular file. All right, so the backup is normally quite easy. We highlight the actual project that we want to back up. I say it this way because if you've got several projects open, you want to make sure you're going to back up the right one. So it's always backup, uh, sorry, project, uh, backup, and project. Okay, you can do things like basic projects, you can do your symbol libraries, plot frames, outlines, forms, and so on. So, but today we're just going to deal with some projects. So, when we do it on here, we have some different methods. We can save an additional file, so it takes your live project, zips it up, gives you a zip copy at the place you're at now. There's archiving that takes your live project, zips it up, and takes away your live project. And the one that I actually want to cover today is file off for external editing. It's the one that we don't see used too often, so we thought we could be a good tip and trick today. So, we're going to file this one away. My normal data is normally a D drive. Um, I'm going to file this one away onto my E drive, which is where my project backup is actually going to go. So the scenario for today is I'm going to take this project on the server, the D drive. I'm going to leave a, a read-only copy, but on my E drive I will leave a backed up copy that I can take away and work with. So I press OK on this one, it will run through, do you want to overwrite? Yeah, I've obviously already been through this once before today, just to make sure. So now we're going to file off the project for editing. Okay, it does take about maybe 10 to 15 seconds each time, so you just have to bear with us through 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 the video on that one. But what we can now see is it's filing off the project, it's taken it all away, and it has closed down the actual project in the background as well. So our project from the D drive has now been filed off successfully. If I try and open it from my D drive, which I will be able to do, so here I am on my D drive, here's my project. You can see at the moment it is an E L S and this is a filed off ePlan project. So I can see it. It is there, but as you can see from here, the project is read only. Okay, so it's filed off. So back on the server, all the other guys and girls can see that it's still there. They can see all the different data, but it is as a read only on there and it is slightly grayed out. Okay, so I just close that project down. Now for the external one, I can actually restore that. So I restore my project from my e backup set. I'm going to I'm going to restore it to my e drive because obviously I'm going to be working away for this one. So here it is on my e drive. So I'll put it into the backup project area and I restore it. Okay. So again, as I said it does take a few seconds. And nearly there. Almost last little bit. Okay, so once this is restored, what I'm going to do is make it just a few simple changes for us to be able to see them. Obviously, maybe something that's happened whilst away on commission work or on build work, and we can get the data placed back out. So you see now it's just opening the project and it is restored successfully. So I can go to my project properties. Take a second to open up. And there we go. So on here, we can then see, I'm just going to make a, quite a simple change on here. So our job number, we're going to change it to 002. The commission is going to go to IG instead. I press OK. And then the data is going to then be shown on the title page. So there it is, 02 and IG. Again, I then need to back that one up. So again, I've, I've now been away. The job is now finished. I back that project up again. I make sure it goes to my E drive. I'm going to overwrite my old backup. Because, to be honest, I no longer need it. So, there, I make sure it's all backed off. Right, so as that's backing up, what's going to happen now is that I'm going to restore it back onto the server. So, again, I backed it up additionally, so I've got two sets of copies now, so I don't need it. So, project, restore my project. From my e backup file, over now to my D drive. So D drive E plan two seven projects. 
and you can see I'm now going to restore it yes please so again I'm going to restore this one now into my D drive so I back onto the server it's now opened up correctly and the server copy is now back up to date so What's this for, what, what, what does this really mean? So it means that a team that's working on a server, normally they keep projects live on there. You can take it down to read only. People can still use it, copy it, report for it if need be, but you can then take it away, work on it whilst you're on your commission work or building work, different country, different places. And then when you get back to the office, you can put your data back down where everybody can then see it again. Or you can just leave it in its restored state. Again, there's a lot of companies that do it that way. Anyway, thank you for your time. Backing up projects, always a, always a good idea to do.